Meantime, critics punishing, pushing, I should say, to cancel a comic book about a Border Patrol agent who tracks down fentanyl dealers calling the comic book racist. Left-leaning publication The Daily Kos publishing an op-ed saying the story is, quote, racist propaganda and stochastic terrorism disguised as a funny book. Mike Barron is the author of that comic book, Private American, and he joins me now. Mike, that article, that op-ed basically got you kicked off of Kickstarter, which you used to raise money, right? That's right. And that's not right. That shouldn't happen. Let me go through what this comic is about. It's a story of a Cuban-American, ex-Green Beret, who experiences tragedy at the hands of cartels and sees how Border Patrol agents are overwhelmed. So he takes on the bad guys, cartels, gangs, drug smugglers, and human traffickers. Mike, what the heck's wrong with that? Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's a classic vigilante story in American mode. I used to write Punisher for Marvel, and it's the same type of character. In fact, this book came about when I asked myself, well, what would the Punisher be doing today? He'd be down on the southern border trying to stop the flow of fentanyl into the country. There's nothing against the immigrants who are trying to cross over just to get a better life. In fact, He's there to save them, and that's when we first meet him. It's he's saving a young girl from being raped. And I'm sure your readers know this, but every woman who crosses over the southern border is raped as price of, the, uh, of uh, passage. <clears throat> it certainly seems that way. The numbers are staggering. Yet somehow, this kind of vigilante is viewed as racist. And here's just some of the censorship you have suffered on the whole. Obviously, Private American permanently suspended on Twitter, shadow banned on Indiegogo, and like I said, obviously for this, suspended indefinitely on Kickstarter. How are you going to make money now? Well, my friends, you can find the book by going to theprivateamerican.com. That'll take you directly to our Indiegogo campaign, which is still active, fortunately. Uh, and, you know, a number of us who produce comics that don't fit into the rigid left-wing mode, we are exploring new crowdfunding possibilities. We're talking about all sorts of things. And there are other methods. Uh, Eric July, who recently re released a comic, Isom, uh, raised over $3 million on his own crowdfunding platform. But that's because he has a huge following. Right. And Eric was kind enough to feature me in a recent episode. I only learned about it when somebody sent it to me. Mike, all these on the left who are up in arms about Elon Musk and what they call censoring, have any of them defended the censoring that's being done of you? Oh, no, of course not. Right. <laughs> uh, bigger picture, just how woke has the comic book industry become? Uh, it's pretty woke, uh, as you know, and the, and the sales are falling. Uh, and uh, there's some question whether Marvel and DC will continue to publish comics in the future because sales are so low. Meanwhile, there's a whole bunch of us, and we call ourselves Comics Gate, that produce comics outside the normal realm. And we crowdfund our comics, uh, and they're highly entertaining. And many of the comics are far more entertaining and better illustrated than those that are being produced by the big two. I mean, look, people turn to comics as a form of entertainment. This is just the latest example of the entertainment industry ignoring what the people want and focusing on a virtue signaling woke agenda. The proof is in the pudding. They're suffering. But sadly, Mike, you're suffering. Hopefully, hopefully you can get this crowdfunding going, make money for yourself and put out stuff that champions the pr uh, private American champions Americana like you're doing. Mike Barron, thank you, sir. Thank you.